15 muscle cars that were only produced for one year. The automotive industry is very versatile by nature. Every year, automakers release new models that introduce new concepts and features, and sometimes they reintroduce last year's models with no significant additions. But the general consensus is, you have to have a new car in the market in order to stay relevant. Innovation in the automotive industry doesn't stop, and it's no longer a surprise when a car from this year's leaps ahead in technology compared to last year's model. These technological advances matter the most when we talk about a very demanding sector of the industry, which is muscle cars. A lot of great cars enter the market but don't stay more than a year due to either negative reception or better innovations taking its place. If you want to learn more about these cars and what caused their short reign, we've compiled a list of the 15 muscle cars that were only produced for one year. Nineteen seventy Oldsmobile Rally three hundred fifty. Every muscle car enthusiast knows that the nineteen seventies were a really rough time for muscle cars. Oldsmobile tried to find their way around restrictive regulations hindering muscle car progress and introduced the Rally 350 with a small but sturdy 350 V8 engine that produced 310 horsepower. Only 3,547 Rally 350S were built in 1970. Sixty-five Shelby GT 350X. The Shelby GT 350 is a great car in its own right, but the racing version of it was a lot more superior. The GT 350R wasn't street legal and was only sold to racing teams. It had the same engine as the GT350, a 289 V8 that produced 400 horsepower after being modified for racing. Nineteen seventy Plymouth Road Runner Superbird. The Plymouth Road Runner Superbird is a racing muscle car that was introduced to the market for homologation purposes in nineteen seventy. The Roadrunner Superbird was equipped with a 440 V8 engine and a 426 Hemi option.
although only 2,000 were built, this Superbird is one of the most recognizable Plymouth models. Nineteen sixty nine Chevrolet Corvette ZL one. Can you imagine a muscle car being too powerful to release to the public? This was the case with the Corvette ZL1 back in 1969. It is said that Chevrolet built about 12 prototypes of the ZL1, and they were equipped with the ZL1 all-aluminum engine that produced 427 horsepower. Nineteen sixty eight Shelby GT five hundred KR. The four hundred twenty eight Cobra jet engine was introduced by Ford in nineteen sixty eight and Carroll Shelby decided to include it in his special project. The GT500KR, which stands for King of the Road, it deserved the name, with various luxury features and the Cobra jet engine that produced over 400 horsepower.
1971 Dodge Charger Super B. The 1971 Charger Super B was produced for one year only, but it managed to garner popularity. It also had a very attractive graphics package, and its standard engine was the 440 with an output of 370 horsepower. The Super B also offered a six-pack option, which upped the output to 385 horsepower. Sixty five Chevrolet Chevelle Z sixteen. Chevrolet took the regular Chevelle model and gave it quite the boost of features, coming out with the Chevelle Z sixteen. The Z16 had a 396 V8 engine, which paired well with a Muncie 4-speed gearbox and heavy-duty suspension. <music> Chevrolet only made 200 Z16s for the 1965 model year.
1070 AMC Rebel machine. From the success of the 1969 AMC SC Rambler model, AMC decided to introduce another one-year special, the 1970 AMC Rebel machine. It was mechanically similar to the SC Rambler but its output was superior at 345 horsepower, and it could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds. Plymouth AAR Cuda. Dan Gurney's All American Racing Team raced with Cutis in the Transom Championship, and Plymouth decided to honor the team by producing the limited edition AAR Cuda. It had a 340 V8 small block engine and a cool graphics package. Only 2,724 AAR Cutis were made and sold to the public.
1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. To compete strongly in NASCAR, Dodge wanted to create an aerodynamically strong car that could match up to the top speeds of NASCAR competitors, which were almost 200 miles per hour. The Daytona was just that. They produced it in 1969 with optimized aerodynamics and only 504 units were ever made. Nineteen seventy Oldsmobile W thirty one. The Oldsmobile W31 was a mechanically similar car to the Oldsmobile Rally 350, however, it wasn't marketed well and lacked the striking exterior looks of the Rally, causing it to slip under the radar. It had a 350 V8 engine and only 116 W31s were made for the 1970 model year.
1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Z06. Anyone can get their hands on the Z06 package for the Corvette Stingray today, but it was originally presented as a special order package for the Corvette Stingray in 1963. It was a racing-oriented package, equipped with sturdy suspension and a more powerful engine. It also had a much lighter weight. powered by an experimental 427 motor. Nineteen seventy one Ford Mustang Boss three hundred fifty one. The Mustang Boss 351 from 1971 is one of the rarest Mustang models ever produced by Ford. It came with a tuned 351 V8 engine that produced 330 horsepower, and it had good exterior looks that justified its expensive price tag. Only 1,800 351s were made, and it's a sought-after collector's car today.
1969 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. This barely street legal Camaro option was very popular with drag racers in 1969. The Camaro ZL1 looked like the regular Camaro, but it had a 7-liter V8 engine that produced 550 horsepower. Chevrolet made 200 of that engine, but only 69 ZL1S are said to have had it under their hoods. Free Ford Mustang Cobra. Produced in 1993, the Ford Mustang Cobra is known for marking the end of the Fox Body Mustang generation.
It came with a 5-liter HO engine that could take it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. With only 4,993 Cobras built in 1993, it's one of the rarest and most appreciated Mustangs ever. Do you agree with our list? Maybe we missed out something? Please let us know in comments section down below. And if you like this video, please like, share and consider subscribing and turn on bell notifications for more awesome videos.